Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, so hello. Uh, my name is Pedro. I'm uh, a lead lead designer at uh, Collabra. Um, you can also. Um, yeah, you can also uh, get a hold of me on Twitter. Uh, that is my handler. Um, so let's start it. Um, as the topic of my uh, talk uh, says here, the, 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 I'm going to talk about uh, consistency, visual, and uh, how. Um, code and design interface um, and the structure uh, actually live uh, together and um, they are kind of cyclic in this uh, in the, the in our workflow to improve uh, Collabra. Um, if like today is the last day so probably you know what is uh, Collabra online but if you have any uh, any other question how to get the code how to contribute how to uh, or where is this? Uh, where are these things? Or how to even build Collabra Online for your uh, particular distro? You can go ahead um, at, over uh, collabraonline.github.io, and you will see uh, some nice posts there. Uh, of course, you can uh, visit the FAQ, uh, but also uh, really cool is our uh, build, uh, how to build Collabra online uh, post, where I uh, recently um, updated, uh, and also uh, Mohamed Kara also uh, helped here with the instructions from other distros. So if you want to add additional <laughs> instructions there, um, uh, or if you see any problem, feel free to uh, report. Um, and we will, uh, you know, make it easier and uh, easier to get, and even overall uh, co uh, more uh, friendly, right? So uh, we are we are uh, we care about um, uh, easy to use, not only in the in the in the software itself, but even the whole workflow um, in and out. So uh, visual consistency. Uh, normally, uh, we might uh, we might think about uh, consistency being just visual, um, but I, I will uh, try to uh, jump between code interface, interface and code, <clears throat> and also um, mention that actually this division can be quite blurry, and that's okay, and we can even benefit from from that. Um, so. On one side, we might have some code structure or, or, or some changes on, uh, in, in the code. And on the other side, we have uh, interface decisions, uh, design decisions that we need to uh, take. And uh, more often than not, uh, when uh, we need or we, are, we want to work in a specific component, for example, uh, I wanted to uh, make sure that some specific components in our um, toolbar, uh, but also across uh, other other uh, sections, uh, were more consistent between each other, and this uh, actually generated quite nice discussion and let me um, kind of motivate uh, a, a, a clear uh, CSS, and so um, we start this whole process of uh, cleaning uh, this up, making um, this uh, visual consistency not only in the end result, but even uh, within uh, the, 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 the software itself, right? So we try to split in uh, many different files. Mm, uh, these files then are, uh, become easier to hack, easier to style, because they start to uh, correspond to the to the components itself um, themselves, not not only in a logical way, but even in the in the visual uh, manner. Um, we try to reduce um, any. I try to reduce any redundant rules across uh, all files, and 
uh, I also started to feel the need and started, uh, and, and my anxiety started to be through the roof because I really wanted uh, to enforce uh, some uh, consistency uh, and consistency in terms of uh, the formatting itself, uh, but also the rules we 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 should follow in terms of linked. So um, we also and I, a little bit more on this later. Um, we also try to avoid guessing uh, or at least uh, trust one hundred percent in CSS media queries uh, because we encounter many problems. Right. Um, we started to see many uh, phablets with uh, uh, very diverse resolutions, but also many tablets with uh, weird, uh, not only uh, even weirder uh, form factors um, from uh, different, uh, you know, different manufacturers. Um, and on top of that, we had, we had these two little guys fighting uh, each other. Yeah, sometimes CSS would say one thing, sometimes JavaScript would say one thing, and we really uh, made effort uh, to um, soften all these uh, corners uh, and and uh, rely uh, mainly in in the JavaScript size uh, side. Um, and this proven to be a, a, a win, uh, win situation in in many cases, not only for mobile but also for 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 tablet. Um, then um, I basically try to have it uh, in an automatic way, so uh, using style lint, which there is many other uh, ways to to uh, to help in in linting your code, but style lint is is one. And um, I try to uh, have it uh, automatically uh, checking um, online uh, at each make run. Um, so not only I went manually to each each uh, each file we have, checking all the rules, uh, but also it was important to exclude third-party files. For instance, we have some uh, uh, not that many, but we have like one, two uh libraries that they have their own uh, css files and it was important to exclude them because in the future if we want to keep it uh, light and flexible the update of those files we don't need to we don't need to worry so much about their formatting we can just um update them and take the uh, upstream formatting that they use uh, yeah, big thanks, uh, of course, for uh, for Henry that kind of helped me out uh, in this in this uh, final process of including the make run. Um, and for instance, this is one example. Now, uh, not only the JavaScript is checked, but also the CSS side is checked. And in here, we see that uh, we have a duplicated uh, selector that we probably forgot uh, f about. Uh, maybe we, we declared in, in, at the beginning of the file and then we, we declared it again at the end and we forgot. So it's this really helpful uh, to keep the things tidy and uh, even easier to bug fix and overall to improve um, the, 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 the visual uh, and the whole uh, interface. So by making it uh, this side of the question crystal clear, it then uh, looped back and benefit back the, the interface. Because suddenly things were easier, uh, uh, easier to uh, work. And with that, um, next step was being sure that uh, maybe a couple of things on the JavaScript, JavaScript side uh, was also um, were uh, also clean um, and so for instance and uh, we try to decrease uh, the redundancy especially in the dialogue side uh, so for instance we have here uh, our insert comment um, that uses uh, vex and also here on mobile also uses the vex library so um, we, it's, it's not something that remarkable, but it has really a remarkable impact uh, then in maintenance and even in the, in the visual side of, of the question. So big thanks for uh, Pranam uh, 
uh, that really uh, hunt these beats down and made sure that everything was consistent. So now we can uh, just deal uh, with these things in one place instead of multiple places. Um, and uh, again, it looked back to the interface. Uh, this allowed me and motivated me to even go further and really check every single uh, state of our component, uh, be sure that all states are accounted for. Mm, and here you see that not only we are using, for instance, comments, annotations, and of course, uh, the um, tracking changes um, components. They are also annotations, but they come from tracking changes. And thus, uh, they do look different. They do have slightly different components on them. Uh, even though you can even comment uh, in, in, in these uh, tracking changes you would in uh, LibreOffice on your desktop. But it was important to make this, uh, this clear, you know, when, when are you typing, when are you not typing, when you are viewing, what's the difference between uh, these hierarchies. Um, uh, and these, uh, so we are just going to talk about really, I really like this, this, uh, this positive, kind of coincidence, a little bit, a bunch of coincidences, but really positive because you see, since we work so much in uh, in this cl collaborative way, Pranam starts to work on one side, I go, I I, I, I started to work on, on the other uh, side. And hard requests. And I Does now listen to someone. And using online in a web browser, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm hearing, uh, yeah, thanks. Um, and then there was this opportunity to bring more features to mobile. So for instance, we have here how we were displaying comments on mobile and it was quite tedious because you need, uh, especially on a phone, you need to uh, use, uh, you need to drag uh, and pan to see your comments. And now there is this, possibility. Now we are using the same VEX library. Now we are using the same um, code. Uh, we can share not only the code, but also the aesthetics of it um, and the same rules. And of course, this is a work in progress. Many things are still, uh, they still need to be improved, uh, but it's awesome effort uh, initiated from Pranam. And now we get benefits, uh, not only in, in the code itself. Um, and for instance, uh, there were there will be many um, easy hacks and other things that you can help with. So a very a really easy uh, hack, and uh, it's quite a good first issue to get your feet wet, is uh, simply to um, you know replace our trigger that was um, that were that were signifying uh, insert comment to something uh, that doesn't have the plus. Uh, that that simply signifies that you are going to trigger the comment section, the, the comment panel. Um, a lot, lots of great work from uh, Shimon on on this front, on the JavaScript front. Uh, and if you see other talks, you already uh, saw and 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 listen him uh, going through all the technical bits. Uh, but the cool thing is that this led. This, uh, all, all these things you see here led to a cyclical uh, improvement, right? So uh, even though it was something that came from uh, JavaScript and all, it was something actually that then encompassed um, CSS uh, design. And it was something that started from uh, a necessity or a motivation uh, far from the design realm. But then uh, it benefited uh, that design uh, side. Um, and of course, fixing and unifying uh, units used uh, in uh, input fields, spinners, all these controls uh, were also quite, uh, these, these, there was a, an opportunity that was enabled uh, by all this uh, effort. Um, so then we try to make sure that the user knows which units is working on, uh, which uh, type of components is working on, even without reading. So, uh, because they don't read, they really just scan. Um, and even uh, feedback from users, users and customers were uh, taken into account. So, for instance, even though we we uh, cyclic we we 
frequently save the document. Um, and we used to have a, a back uh, chevron, a back arrow uh, to, to leave the app. People were quite afraid <laughs> to press that icon. Um, and so, uh, because they didn't know, they wanted to be sure it was saved, even though it, even if it was already saved. So they were always going to hamburger menu, be sure that it was saved, and, and then press the arrow uh, icon. Uh, so we just replaced that with the check mark. And we even uh, in, we even emphasize we even increase uh, its importance uh, by means of you and uh, color. So they can be quite uh, comfortable that this is not a destructive uh, action, and it's quite a positive uh, action. It will just save the document and, and leave the tab. Um, now, and there is many things I, I want to talk here, but maybe. <laughs> I will go fast because I really have many slides. So, but for instance, inactive states was also a big, a big uh, section. Um, not only, um, not only in the visual side, but also in the code side. So, for instance, I, I noticed that uh, these these uh, states were not being communicated that well. Uh, so, I wanted to improve that, and then I found out that actually the Java there were many JavaScript. JavaScript pieces uh, that were still uh, listening and active. So then it forced me to fix those parts and then go back to design and then finally have the states I wanted. Uh, you know, so every so then every site benefited, even though in this case it was a motivation came from uh, design. So it's really interesting and f at least for me it's it's quite curious to see <clears throat> these two sides. Uh, they are actually not two sides. They are or at least they are two sides of the same coin. Um, now, opening PDF, it's an amazing effort, uh, especially from Quickie. Um, and he already presented the technical bits of this. But it, it, I wanted to take a moment and let sink, sink in the, the challenges and the awesome results we got from this. Um, so it was important to provide a clear um, interface um, to view a PDF with Collabra Online. And there is many ways to do it, depending on your uh, storage uh, service. Um, but in here, we are not editing anymore. We are not modifying, per se, the, the document structure. We are here mainly to view a document. So we really clean everything that was useless in this case, and we let up, we, we, we let up front actions like search, rename the document, or, and of course, uh, navigating through uh, either existing uh, markers, existing annotations, or uh, newly created annotations. So for instance, in here, and of course, they are still uh, a long way to, to make this even better. And I have, uh, at least my mental roadmap things to make it much better. But um, it was nice that I can I, I could be uh, watching or, or listening a car presenting, taking my notes, um, or it doesn't it doesn't need to be even like in that form factor. If you have uh, A4, it will also work. Um, and you can then just let this this main action uh, up front, uh, which is viewing uh, and taking notes. Now the workflow doesn't uh, start or end uh, within uh, Collabra Online. It was quite important to know what happens after or before the PDF um, gets to Collabra Online. So it. it there was a lot of, of testing um, to, to be sure that, OK, these annotations are uh, properly uh, possible to view uh, in different uh, PDF viewers. As a matter, if you are um, on Windows, uh, Linux, they should be, be able to, to, to view them and navigate. And of course, import them. So um, again, it was really interesting uh, demo uh, shown by Quickie, uh, I think yesterday. And it again, there is room for a user experience in improvement here, right? Uh, maybe uh, a way to, uh, uh, to to show the user which pieces uh, are actually 
PDF incorporated in your ODP. Um, and there is a lot of ideas going on. So I, I just, I'm quite <laughs> motivated to, to, to just have time to, you know, to improve it even um, further. Now, um, something I also focus quite a lot is this action reaction um, pair. So, what is the trigger and what's the result? Does the result um, is somehow uh, connected or uh, gives you any idea of what it was the trigger and vice versa? So, initially, uh, we have some troubles uh, with, uh, with the cloning, uh, for instance, styles. Uh, and we really wanted to, 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 to use the respective cursor for this. Um, uh, before, uh, we were using some kind of legacy uh, icon. The problem is that this icon uh, was uh, resulting in many reports, some, some reports, not many, because many when we compare to other reports we receive, but some reports um, that people we're getting confused. Wait, but am I going to like change the feel of my cell, or what is going on here? I didn't press this, um, even though it it was like functional functional wise, it was actually working uh, quite well. It was just something about the disconnection between the trigger and the result, and so a, a very easy uh, solution just swapping the the icon. Um, again, uh, result in a remarkable positive uh, feedback from these uh, initial negative reports. Now, there were many features uh, enabling viewing and editing documents online, uh, be that on iOS or Android. Uh, but without this enabling, uh, there were uh, many challenges uh, that were needed to be uh, solved. So, for instance, in, in here we see uh, ODT um, and we started to receive uh, some requests uh, and some worried requests about um, the missing uh, word count uh, feature. Uh, and initially, we, we thought that it could be simply inside of the view uh, sub-panel, but we start to notice that uh, many people uh, using mobile, and not only, uh, of course, not only uh, phone, but also tablet, uh, were trying to find some kind of an easy shortcut for this word count, uh, not only for the selected text, but the whole text, and they wanted to to see this with the less, uh, with the, with the little uh, effort possible. So in, in here we kind of um, enhance that uh, position, that place to a more uh, upper level um, position in in the hamburger, and this is a small change that actually uh, result in in happy users. Um, and, and again, it was these little reports, these little comments that um, uh, previously uh, Candy was talking about, that we are receiving a lot of comments, uh, for instance, in the, in the Play Store, but even in the emails. And, you know, we try to answer all of them. We even try to uh, not only read, but really think uh, and try to get, gather how many people are, are saying the same thing, um, you know, because at the end, it's for them that we are uh, doing this. They, are, they need to be able to use it in the, the, the easiest possible way. Um, another big challenge was, uh, for instance, in Calc, people do not, or at least the people that do use uh, the, the app on mobile, do not remember specific or might not remember in specific the function that they want. And they really wanted a way uh, not only to insert a function, but a more exploratory way to learn about the, 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 the function. And it's, it was not a, a, a plus B report that we re received this, but it were many reports of people that were inserting 
uh, the, the function that wrongly they it was not that function they wanted so they need, always need to go back and insert multiple times so in here um, still in one-handed uh, interface we we managed to have there some little helper that they can always press that uh, that icon and they get to know more about the the function uh, and these and there is a lot of room so even if the function has uh, not only uh, text but if we manage to even bring not only text, but even other things that are already uh, available, uh, be that images or even examples, suddenly these, uh, this little section can be quite educative. Of course, it's always a balance between uh, how much you can show until it's too much. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's important. Um, but we, we noticed that more people start to appear. Uh, I'm not sure if it was because uh, it, you know, it was the leap year, uh, but it, they were quite happy with this uh, nice little uh, change. Um, and it's always, uh, you know, it's, it's always really nice to hear uh, nice, you know, positive words uh, from, from the users, from the final users. Uh, then, uh, I also made, try to make a, a couple of uh, videos that do show uh, the average uh, Joe that, that uses, for instance, Google Docs, that many times their um, their complaints or their uh, requests are uh, without uh, reasoning, yeah? Or maybe they didn't really look that further. Uh, so we have, for instance, here three examples, uh, the copy pasting, scaling images, or even apply master slides. And I dare you, try to apply master slides on, for instance, uh, Google Docs, or try to scale images on the go. When I mean on the go, I don't mean tablet. I mean really a phone. Try it. Or even copy pasting. It's, 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 it was just uh, very, uh, uh, very funny. Uh, even to go through this process uh, and and both and we are here talking uh, both on android and even on ios and on ios the the some of the scaling uh, just scaling an element was really really i don't know you just need to watch it or even try it maybe try it will be even funnier um, but of course uh, so we are always here or at least i'm here mentioning multiple times uh, consistency Yes, consistency is, is, is the key. Yes, consistency is, is what we are aiming for. But at the same time, we really do not want to lose our flexibility. And with this, we also, we are, we also uh, keep an open ear for, for all the requests or even suggestions. So notebook bar was quite a high uh, uh, request we were receiving. Um, and yes, it's now uh, shining in all its glory. Uh, and there is many little pieces that needed to be solved specifically for online. Not only because online has specific limitations, but also has specific context. Um, <clears throat> and there are things that are that they have still, and thanks God, they have still um, quite a room to, for improvement. And, that, and that's nice because it keeps us uh, you know, in our toes, and we want to do it, uh, keep it doing it better. But I call your attention for, again, the amount of functionality that we were able to bring uh, up front. And many of these things were also um, coming from uh, the, the, the feedback we, re we keep receiving also from the customers and from all the users that they do have. Uh, and maybe they are, uh, the necessity of those users, sometimes they are different from the necessities of the same users when they are using a desktop app and not on a browser or on the go or on a tablet, et cetera. Uh, but of course, all many of these things uh, still need to be accessible, uh, even if they were not uh, the main goal of those users, at least not their main necessity. So for all these, they are still uh, able to reach, be that via a second layer 
or uh, our left click, but they are still there. So we want to have it flexible, but without uh, leaving any power in the table. In the calc side, um, it was quite uh, it's, it was quite a challenge to know uh, which which of those things were uh, were important in this case. And of course, uh, we need to be very thankful uh, for Heiko and all the the, the 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 good discussion that is generated not only now but even along all these years because there's many things that were already uh, a big concern already uh, thought out very well uh, on on the desktop and of course we are not blind uh, blind to this um, but i also call it your attention for the status bar the status bar um, we started to to see uh, people um, that were complaining uh, about something that actually <laughs> that actually it exists exactly like this, uh, even in other office suites, which was uh, when nothing is selected, uh, there was nothing was saying that nothing was selected, simply in the status bar was empty. Um, and, onla and online, and because people sometimes use different, um, you know, uh, interfaces, I mean, physical interfaces, sometimes they use a mouse, sometimes they use a finger, and they were really wanted to have a, a good feedback if anything is selected or if something else is hidden, but it's selected, and even about the insert mode. Uh, so it was also a, a good uh, little touch that we did there. Now, of course, this takes uh, some room for small factor, um, screens and of course we had this uh, in mind and from these you can very easily uh, just tab uh, just press click your tab uh, hide your sidebar and you can see now your whole big slide even in a small uh, screen um, when i mean flexible I also uh, do not want to forget the, 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 friendliness, the friendliness. Um, so many people still prefer classic and the classic tool, toolbar is still there and it's still rocking with all this functionality. Uh, the, the ruler got uh, also uh, revamped uh, in a different size. Uh, we also work closely uh, with, uh, for instance, Nextcloud, OnCloud to, to make sure uh, that everything is nice and tidy in their own, um, you know, uh, solution. Because again, we need to uh, account for the workflow in and outside of uh, Collabora Online. And of course, make it yours. So I did a talk, uh, well, it seems that it was last year. I, mean, I guess many things happen uh, this year. So last year, uh, how you can uh, customize uh, your uh, Collabra online. You know, even if you don't want to <coughs> contribute, uh, which of course I advise against. Um, but you know, if you if you have your own uh, your own family, you just want to do some funny thing. You maybe you want to do. Uh, you want to customize icons or something for your kid or something like this, you can do it. And in this talk, I try to guide you uh, through that. So, so I advise you to, to watch this. Uh, but I want to spend too much time talking about this right now. But what you can do is tag along and help. And we do need help. Uh, but we have been uh, receiving some really... Uh, positive feedback, and I will go uh, there in a moment. But for instance, uh, styling, um, there were many things that were fixed. Uh, I uh, introduced uh, CSS vars finally on, um, and you can see it upstream. And of course, there's still room, and we use it already in many places. Uh, you know, so it's very easy now to use the official uh, LibreOffice uh, color branding. Um, and it's 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 nice. It's tidier, and it avoids um, it avoids, um, for instance, problems that can come from uh, newcomers that want to contribute, and that that's nice. 
Um, and of course, it improves the overall consistency, not only in the colors, but also fonts, etc. And even easier to 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 hunt where it, where it's where is the bug or what where is the the place that needs fixing. Um, but this is only getting better, um, and I'm uh, really happy um, to say that we have we have been receiving uh, really nice feedback regarding this this uh, uh, this page. I try to uh, make it. Uh, as easier uh, to find uh, information I could. Uh, so we have upfront to build Collabra online, but you also have built for Android. You have the easy hacks. If you enter the easy hacks, you will also see consistently uh, showing up the last three easy hacks and you can go to GitHub then. Um, but also how to report bugs, uh, what about translators, uh, you know, how to, to to do these things for with weblate etc and of course all the channels for uh, communication uh, but of course if you have any uh, feedback even in this uh, in this side of the the things like the the website i'm really eager uh, to hear um, and and it's really amazing uh, to see all the new uh, contributors uh, that we have and i say new i should probably say uh, new old contributors right uh, but they are new in a sense that uh, in this Collabra online. Uh, and uh, I really wanted to save a couple of minutes uh, to really express my uh, gratitude. Uh, I try to do, I, at least I try and I try to do my best uh, trying to guide or trying to, to either review. Uh, but I, you know, I have only uh, two hands and not that uh, much time to do all these things. Uh, but it's really nice to see all the cool things that were already merged. So uh, special thanks to uh, Rizal for uh, uh, the syncing the Colibre icon set. Uh, of course, big thanks to Alan, Corleone, uh, Batuhan, I hope I'm not butchering all these names, uh, Mukahid, uh, and also huge thanks to Andreas Keynes. And we are working now in a really cool thing uh, that you can even see there the link uh, that hopefully in a not so distant future we can have again some some nice presentation uh, unveiling some more cool stuff some more cool theming uh, and even dynamic uh, theming so yeah it's uh, exciting times uh, and I hope um, I hope everyone uh, is safe out there uh, and uh, Thanks for uh, listening. I hope I didn't went too fast. I hope I didn't went too slow. <laughs> um, then again, thanks. If no one else ask maybe a question to you that is not so easy to answer sorry for that i missed it before is uh, shiman's talk about the sidebar point is you pointed uh, to the fact that you have the ability to to um, change the aspect ratio and i wonder if it makes sense to place the sidebar that is on the button of the phone at the um at the vertical edge like a normal sidebar what do you think Pedro? yeah i think i'm just trying can you please repeat again i am not sure if i i could hear i had some glitch yeah. here <laughs> sorry um the uh, i checked in parallel a little bit of the app and it is amazing what happened there and point is the sidebar is placed at the bottom of the application and you can make it larger or shorter and uh, in your talk you 
uh, you pointed out that the aspect ratio, if it's a portrait or a landscape, uh, how you place your mobile um, device makes uh, matters for for these applications. And now my question is what to do with the sidebar that is on the button of the screen. It makes sense in, in case of upside down and in case of a portrait mode, but if you turn your phone uh, being on a, on a, like a, a tablet, in a tablet mode. Or, like in uh, landscape. Yeah, landscape. Ah, okay, <laughs> I okay. believe it is it has a different <laughs> name, whatever. Um, but um, make, does it make sense to have a different appearance with the sidebar in that case? Uh, I, and now I understand. Yeah, thanks. So, um, yeah, that's yeah, that's a really important question, and we have been uh, dealing with this, uh, you know, with this challenge because it's it's it really is a challenge, uh, and it it becomes more of a challenge uh, when you. When you, when you kind of forget the Android and you start to look at other, uh, for instance, iOS devices, some other devices that they have quite slim uh, width, right? Uh, so, so turning the phone, it be, the, that challenge just gets increased. So it's quite, uh, quite a challenge. Like right now, uh, our goal is, and because we are uh, far from perfect, uh, we want to, again, be sure we are consistent in every single possible way. And uh, the idea is uh, when, we reach a, um, when we reach a point where all these uh, very high priority things regarding sidebars, like for instance, you listened to, I think you listened to Shimon talk, uh, but there also, I think there was another talk yesterday about this. There, there are a couple of things, not only on mobile, because on mobile has its own challenges, but also on desktop. And when all these things are solved, then I think it's time we can start to think if it's if it makes sense to kind of um, have a, a new component, yet again, a new component on mobile. Uh, what do I see in the, in the landscape of other uh, productivity uh, suite uh, apps on, on mobile is that they do they it doesn't matter which component they choose but they do not have different component depending on the orientation what they do they have slightly different configuration of that component per se depending on the orientation and i think that's i think that could be key uh, not only because it would be easier to do some nice stuff at the end like some nice result uh, but I think it would also encompass, it will, will encompass more, uh, more use cases. Plus, and sorry if I'm too long, <laughs> uh, because the problem is that I didn't, I didn't take coffee. So I'm quite, I'm much slower than normally I am with uh, a lot, with many coffees. So I just wanted to say that uh, we have also other features and other little uh, things uh, coming up for instance, on Android and uh, and possible also on iOS, but for instance, specifically on, on Android, where we also, we are even going to use the, um, the app sidebar on the, on the shell. So for instance, on, when you are on Android, before you enter a document, before you edit a document, you have this uh, first interface. And there is other things that will be able to, to be there at, uh, at a glance, like for instance, switching to a dark mode. You know, so there is a lot of exciting things. Um, so then I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm very careful uh, in introducing uh, new components to solve things that you know maybe it can be solved in a other way, uh, and you know, and still be friendly to the people that already know the app. Uh, I don't know if I answered the question. Maybe I rambled a lot. Sorry. <laughs> You made me looking forward to your next year's presentation when you show it the result. Oh, that, that and hopefully it will be physically and hopefully we can drink a beer. Yeah, because uh, yeah, this online, uh, you know, it's not that it's not as good. But you know, hey, at least I didn't have uh, hip hop uh, videos at the end. So I'm a little <laughs> bit sad. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, a, a fun question for the for as my last one. Why not use a floppy as icon for save on Android? Ah. <laughs> Ah, no, it's basically, again, it, it goes back to the, to the, um, to that slide I was talking, uh, when I mentioned that it depends on context and it depends on which, in which part of the flow we are. We are actually using, uh, we are keeping using the, the floppy disk, as you know, uh, both, both on desktop, um, I'll collaborate on, on desktop, but also as well on uh, even on a hamburger. You know, so so your question actually, uh, no, we actually are using, uh, but the the check mark has a slightly different uh, meaning, uh, especially on Android, because with the uh, Google's revamped, uh, with the Google's latest uh, revamped of many of their apps. They started to have all these inconsistencies with the uh, back Chevron, uh, even closed. They even use closed sometimes, and they were supposed to have some nice rules for that, but uh, they actually even don't follow their own guidelines. So then it becomes uh, awkward, not only for the users, but for someone that wants to develop for Android. Um, and on top of that, the check mark. And the check mark was, it became to be quite widely used in this, um, when we are talking about like documents, uh, you know, not only like rich documents, but any type of thing that you are editing, uh, you know, be that typing or adding things. Uh, so we, we found that that was the best. Yeah, so like, so now if you ask me, Pedro, is that, uh, is that your ideal, was that, that your ideal plan? No. <laughs> But actually, you found out that for the users and for the usability of people that are already used to Android and all this ecosystem, it was what it worked the best. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> sure. And you want to support the younger generation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, sure. I have a question, Peter. Um, every year there's the LibreOffice conference and all the collabor collabor guys shows us what beautiful things they did in the, in the last year. Uh, is there somewhere an, an Kanban or something like that to know before you show the results <laughs> on the, on the conference or is it something like the conference presence? And no. we didn't mm -hmm. get some information before or yeah. can help there somewhere, whatever. And sorry, I, I started to speak about you because I'm very excited. Uh, basically, yeah, I wanted to share this that, as you see, we started to move uh, not as uh, with the speed that we wanted, but we are trying our best to make, uh, to try to destroy every single, sorry, I'm just checking my time because I have the Spanish uh, talk. So I'm just saying that, um, and I still need to walk my dog, but basically I just want to say that, um, sorry, I am lost, <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Uh, oh yeah, so basically uh, we have our own um, internal, uh, for instance, a fabricator. And uh, that is, uh, we are starting, as you notice, even on GitHub, we really don't want to give more and more things or more and more uh, endpoints for possible contributors to try to keep tabs on. So our goal is, as much as we can, to be as, uh, as, as transparent as we can, even in, in terms of speed, yeah? because there's so many things. Is, we, we can only do as much with the time that we have in our hands. So, but as you see, there is many, um, not only uh, discussions going on on GitHub, but even uh, true uh, bug reports. For instance, even yesterday or before yesterday, I uh, just moved a, a quite important uh, bug report that we need to work on uh, on the PDF side. And there is, there is many other things. So the, the goal here is that the, either the GitHub or the community or both uh, platforms will have all these things. So for instance, if you follow us there, 
you actually will know all these things before or you, or even if you just be in the in our uh, telegram uh, channel or IRC you even don't need to follow the calls because you will start to see the the merging uh, requests there so you you will get to know this and uh, I that's why I'm quite excited because what it happened it's a nice little story <laughs> um, so um, before the the notebook bar or online was actually done <laughs> and we we just started to work on that uh, there actually the, the the Czech community uh, was uh, quite eager and really following our code and because we are always working on master <laughs> yeah like even in the master is really development uh, branch we really don't have nothing else so uh, basically they knew that before anyone announced so they they started already to talk about it so, you know so there is this funny uh, funny situations uh, even without all these uh, github without all these platforms that we do have now so i think hopefully it will be just easier um, yeah oh no i start to see many fellow jitsiers so i think french hip hop is coming but I don't know if I answered your question. I think we will see in the future if the question will be answered. Oh, no, man. We are already seeing it. it we are already seeing it in the present. <laughs> but I like, but anyhow, I like the touch. It was very Count Dracula touch in that, in that sentence. I should just simply didn't talk and just let the silence sink in. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thanks. Thanks. So, my friends, uh, was awesome. Uh, I, I was able to see a couple of your talks, uh, also uh, some open SUSE uh, talks. Uh, so, it was cool. I also I, I was quite intrigued by that talk uh, from the it Italian group from. Um, that were uh, basically they created these these repositories for uh, people uh, interested in sound and professional uh, musicians. So that a lot of cool stuff. Uh, it's just said that is online, but hopefully uh, next time it will be different. Needs. <laughs> okay. So thanks and bye bye.